Yo, I'm super excited about this video because I'm gonna be smelling for the first time five different Zhuzhov fragrances that I not only haven't seen, I haven't heard about them either. I think some of these are even unreleased. Shout out to the homie Raphael for blessing me with this sample pack, but there's five very different Zhuzhov fragrances in this piece that I'm gonna give y'all my first impressions on. Let's roll my fucking music so we can unbox and sample five new Zhuzhov fragrances. <gasps> what? Blessing one of my beautiful peoples, you know who it is. It's your boy C to the U to the B to the A. Sample pack of five different Zhuzhov fragrances. I do enjoy the house of Zhuzhov. I have a variety of Zhuzhov fragrances, but none of these have I really heard. Well, I've heard of them, but there's some of these that I'm like, what the hell is this? And these are the five fragrances. We have 40. What? Nodes? Noids? I'm definitely mispronouncing that. I don't understand a word you just said. Followed by Purple Accento, Alexandria 2 Anniversary Edition, Torino Parfum, and Herba Gold. Now, Herba Gold, I am aware of. See? So we'll put that one to the side, because I thought it was a different concentration. And those of y'all who think I script shit, pfft. That'll be script, script reads me. All right, so we're just gonna jump right into these joints. This is a great sample pack. I don't know if it's available on their website. Again, this was gifted to me and I just wanna share my thoughts and smell these fragrances on camera. 40, what the hell is that? No oots or nuets? I have no idea what the hell. Wave your hands in the air like you just don't care. What the hell this fragrance is, you guys will tell me in the comments below because you guys are true fragrance experts. I'm just an idiot who likes to smell shit and that's exactly what I'm gonna be doing with this 40 Nuets. I feel like it's another version of maybe 40 Knots. Is this like a flanker to 40 Knots? That's my assumption. I don't know the notes of this fragrance. I'm gonna smell them. I'm gonna try to look up to see if I find any notes and give you my thoughts on each one of these fragrances starting with this 40 Nuets, I guess, if I can ever get this fragrance out of here. Okay, let's start off with 40 new eds, no eds, no eds, whatever. Brother, ugh. Let's try this one more time since I dropped the test strip in the garbage and it's, it's a mess. All right, so 40 new eds or nodes or whatever the hell this is. Mm. White floral, sexy citrus, leans a little bit more on the ginger citrusy combination. It's got a nice aldehydic energy about it, airy. The citrus is light, very moist, if that makes any sense. It's airy, it's aldehydic, it's, it's slightly comforting, it's almost cottony, comfort, tight, slightly sensual, very interesting. There is a tart little vetiver essence in here as well. There's something romantically intriguing about this scent that's not just airy and citrusy and vetivery, but pretty and handsome at the same time. It's got flow tree in it. This is really pretty. I like this fragrance a lot, actually. It's soft, it's not abrasive, it's not rash, it's not scratchy, it's citrus, vetiver, light, cottony linen kind of essence. Again, that's what gives me that cozy, comforting duvet in a hotel, fresh laundry smelling. It's wonderfully intoxicating, this scent. I like this joint. Let me see if I can find notes. All right, so the fragrance isn't new. It was released in 2022, according to Fragrantica, and the notes are listed as salt, rose, woody notes, green notes, cedar, seawater. Yeah. Yeah, the seawater, the green notes, I'm getting vetiver. The cedar aspect with the citrusy component, I feel is what's giving me that cedar vibe. I think this is absolutely lovely. I'm gonna revisit this at the end on skin and see what the fuck, I have like butter hands today, like shit is just falling. Next one. All right, let's jump into Torino Parfum. Again, I don't know if this is an older variant, a new one, no idea. Torino, okay. Maybe it's just the original Torino, which, I don't remember smelling, but let's see what kind of energy Torino Parfum is flowing. Ooh, rich, spicy tobacco. Ooh, peppery, very potent, punchy, citrus, strong tobacco. Yeah, it feels like almost a sweet caramelo tobacco, like a raw tobacco leaf with a little bit of like a nutmeggy undertone. Hmm. Rich, deep fall, winter, very focused on fall, winter. Elegant, classy, sexy, a little bit of a wet wood action. Very elegant, very wearable, very handsome also. Man, this shit is good. It's two for two so far. Wow. Wow, very handsome. That shit is delicious, actually. Fuck. 
Next one. See, I tried to look up the notes for Torino Parfum and I'm not an expert, obviously. So I don't know if it's the Shooting Star version that they have a Fragrantico or this is maybe an unreleased version of Torino Par I don't know, so I don't wanna give you false notes. So based on what my nose interpreted, take it as that. Shit is sexy, next one. Now this one is a new release, Alexandria 2 Anniversary. And I know it's a new release because Fragrantico said it released in 2024. All right, let's give this puppy a whirl. I hate these small atomizers. They're sometimes a pain in the balls. Our balls are in your court. Damn, are we going fucking three for three? It's a little bit of a oody, funkier, little cumin-ish, apetoso armpit kind of, mm, I just ran track and didn't shower and my balls are a little musty, but I'm not, I'm not pissed at this. This smells like an armpit. It's definitely cumin, Oodish, beautiful amber, sandalwood. I wanna say lavender flows. There's some funk in here though. There's definitely a little bit of a, I, the cumin and oud aspect definitely gives you a little, is that me smell? Mmm, can you smell it? That, that sensation, but it's fucking handsome as shit too though. This would be what I would picture in my brain as one of like those pheromone fragrances. Like a dude is gonna wear it and a chick will be like, oh shit, you know those fake pheromone fragrances that are all over the place? I mean, I call them for, I don't think that shit is real, but it's not meant to attract dudes, so I don't know. But this has a very presence of like proper posture, masculinity, sex appeal, depth, but it still has an element of freshness. There's spicy ambers. Again, there's a little bit of cumin. Ooh, there's lavender vibes. Beautiful cornucopia of spices here. Very elegant scent profile. This is very handsome. This is definitely 35 years of age, plus corporate chic, sexy, Italian perfumery at its finest kind of energy. Airy, musky, spicy, funky, yet still elements of freshness and slight soapiness. Super Super handsome, but this is fucking three for three. Wow, this is a really good sample pack. I hope this shit is for sale. I mean, I have no idea, but that's really good. And finally, Purple Accento. Now I for sure know this joint ain't new cause it's on my list to buy a full bottle, blind buy. But now I get an opportunity to decide if I'm gonna pull the trigger on this fragrance based on that. Listen, we're three for three out of five. I've already reviewed Herba Gold. I'll put a timestamp somewhere up here. But let's see if this sample pack can go four for four. Purple Accento. I think we're gonna go four for four. But this is not gonna be a wild mass appeal for a ton of people. But this smells definitely like those old school violet candies in that purple wrapper that have that chrome edging on it that usually old ladies have in their bag. I mean, old ladies in my day. Fruity, very fruity, but it smells like the color violet. I smell the violet energy. I smell the color purple. I smell fruitiness. I smell muskiness. And the fruit combination here is not one that I can really pinpoint specifically, other than citrus. You definitely got a citrus component here, but there's it's tropical. Like part of me, my brain wants to say like, it smells like a pineapple mash, but the mash has something else. It's like a fruit smoothie kind of thing. Like you just have a concoction of different fruits, frap them shits up. And after doing your fucking cycles of Tren and Anivar and your little creatine pump, you need a little replenishment. That's kind of the fruit aspect that I'm getting from this. Fruit smoothie, musky, maybe, maybe vanilla. Also with some spice, handsome, intriguing, but literally a visual representation representation or a mental representation or more like a nasal representation of what I would interpret the color purple to smell like. I get this shit. For me in my brain, it makes perfect sense. Very good as well. All right, I'm gonna have to like go with all these shits on skin. All right, let's just go directly into it. So let's start with purple accento on skin. I'll put that to the side while that dries down. We're gonna jump right into the Alexandria 2 anniversary. We'll do that over here. All right, let me give those two a couple seconds and give my thoughts on those before I start getting mixed up. I've been drinking a little. Did it ever happen to you? There's not enough alcohol in the world. All right, let's start with the purple accento. Ooh, a lot of fruitiness, a lot of cleanliness. Soapy, tied, fabric softener. Again, still with that color purple essence. Musky, fruity, clean, soapy kind of sensation, but like soap-like tied soap. Laundry detergent-esque. Very wearable, super handsome, easy to wear, nothing offensive about that. Let's jump into Alexandria 2. Ooh, a lot of funk off the hand. Holy shit. A lot of cumin and oud. Ow! Whoa! Up close, very funky, very B.O.E. Kind of like scratch my asshole and armpit at the same time. The, it's a little funk up close in the air. Like if we're keeping it here, sexy, mature, grown up. Is there like 
It stinks up close. Did something crawl in here and die? It reminds me of uh, Chanel Anateus kind of, fuck is it? The beaver asshole? Savet? I don't remember if there's Savet in here. I'm getting that kind of Chanel Anateus, but look, I'm getting goose pimples off of it. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling it down my spine. It's very masculine, handsome, but it's also fucking stinky. Up close, smells like rat asshole. Oh shit! A rat! In the air, wild handsome. Up close, disgusting. Beastly butt odor? Definitely didn't smell like that on the test trip. Off skin, wild. I, it feels like I was just digging in there. Pulled out a couple dingleberries and just said, yep, it's been since Tuesday. Like I haven't fucking washed my ass. That's abrupt. Up, don't ever smell it up close. It's very deceiving in the air. Wild, handsome, super classy, like, yeah, bad motherfucker. Up close, homie has not showered since the Great Depression. All right, let's move on to Torino and 40 no wit or whatever. Somebody will correct me in the comments as they usually do. I'm fucking dyslexic, I can't read. I dropped out in the ninth grade. Listen, I chose selling drugs and shit over education. What do you want me to do? Now, who wants to buy some drugs? All right, so Torino. A lot more complex off the skin. Leather and tobacco forward, more tobacco. Almost a grainy smell. Very potent, very hits you in the chest. It kind of chokes you up a little bit. Handsome, rich, cold weather, sexual. Very cigarette, cigar, tobacco essence here. Like I have a little bit of a tightness in the chest kind of smelling this. Here's a, what is that? The, the amber, tobacco, the woods. Wet, moist, ugh. I hate that word. Moist wood action. Also very masculine, very mature. I mean, I still find it good. The other one's still traumatized. Alexandria traumatized me off the skin. That shit smell crazy. That BO smell is fucking wild. <laughs> All right, 40 nuads or nodes or whatever. Maybe it's just 40 knots in another fucking language. All right, do one spray of that. Let me let this shit air out. All right, 40 noeds or nodes. Nice. Very white floral present though off the skin. A lot more than on the test strip. Very musk forward too. There's a little bit of a rubbery kind of smell, as I like to call it, like that rubber handball kind of smell. A, sh a handball that has been stricken against a concrete wall. Handsome, dry, floral, underlying fruitiness, airy, slightly salty. It's like a combo of white and red florals or pink florals. Handsome, I pulled this shit off for sure. Wow, these are very good. Let me, I'll re-smell Herba Gold. I'm not gonna do it off the test strip. I'll just smell my own shit just so I can Give it, you know, final determination on all this five sample pack. Go to the Zerzhov website. I don't know if this is available, honestly. Again, this was gifted to me, but it is a very good sample pack. I can see how this probably, it's Zerzhov. It's gonna command some sort of high price tag. But I think you're getting a lot of variety and identity from the brand if this is like a stepping stone that you wanna get into. Yeah, Herbal Gold is just fucking beast. Solid, fruity, musky, sexy, handsome. This is a very, very good sample pack. Thank you, Raphael, for that gift. This is a great introduction and eye-opening experience to the Zhirzhov brand and what are their capabilities. I think the most jarring one clearly is the Alexandria 2 Anniversary Edition. Again, it, it's not a bad scent at all, actually. I would 100% cop a bottle of that fragrance. The thing is that you do get this Savetish, asshole-ish, cumin, oody, kind of sensation that you would anticipate. Like if you get some good naturals in that space and oud itself, I've mentioned it a thousand times, that shit stinks. Natural oud smells like fucking body odor. People have literally like choked out and damn near like puked from the smell of these natural fucking ouds. I mean, there's a huge variety, Laotian, Cambodian, blah, blah, but it stinks. It's, you know, it needs combination of other things for it to smell good. But this is what the sample pack looks like. Go to the Zhirzhov website. I don't know if it's available. All these shits are ball spares. They're very fucking good. I'm, I mean, it's one of the best sample packs that I've tried out. Just keep it in the stack. I love y'all mother suckers from the heart. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and let me know what's your favorite jersey off of the ones I've mentioned or an absolute gem you need in your collection. Smooch. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse, we don't talk on my mom's crib. It's long since you never get in. It's long since you would think that you would.